Scarlet Nexus is a game that recently celebrated passing 2 million players worldwide. Now the problem here is the game is on Game Pass and that allowed it to get those extra couple hundred thousand downloads to pass 2 million. Did I say problem? I meant PlayStation fanboy nonsense. Because they're the only people upset that this game has passed 2 million players. Uh, their reasoning of course being that the game is on Game Pass and therefore uh, it doesn't count or some bullshit. Let's get into it. So 2 million players who didn't buy the game, you should be more thankful for the people who bought the game and supported the game. Are you fucking dumb? Okay dumbass, so first of all, those 2 million players it, uh, is everybody on the entire planet who has bought and played the game, not just people who downloaded it on Game Pass. And also, downloading and playing the game on Game Pass is still supporting the developers and supporting the game. Because the developers still get paid for putting their game on Game Pass, and since they put the game on Game Pass a couple months after release, it's likely that the people who downloaded the game off of Game Pass and played it would probably have never bought the game otherwise. So Game Pass is introducing this game to an audience that probably would have never picked up the game otherwise. I would say that all of that is you know, pretty helpful to the developer and to the success of this game, but whatever. Oddworld on PlayStation Plus, 4 million downloads. Scarlet Nexus on Game Pass, less than 2 million people. It's very odd to me. I would expect it to have more players, especially since it's on the subscription service. Scarlet Nexus, 2 million players total on PlayStation, Xbox, PC after going on Game Pass with 25 million plus subscribers. PS Plus in comparison, Oddworld had 4 million downloads on PlayStation 5 only in one month. Kid, no language on Earth has a word for how little I care. A quantum supercomputer calculating for a thousand years could not even approach the number of fucks I do not give. Okay, Oddworld on PlayStation Plus had more downloads than Scarlet Nexus on Game Pass, and I should care why exactly? I mean, I, I like the fact that you're mentioning it, right? Not only because PlayStation Plus very clearly has way more fucking users, than Game Pass. Not only because they're two completely different types of subscription services, but also because both these people happened to forget the fact that, you know, the Oddworld developer has come out and said that putting their game on PlayStation Plus was absolutely devastating to the game's success. Putting their game on PlayStation Plus has absolutely just killed it. It, it has just destroyed their game. Not sure how loyal you gotta be when the game isn't even being purchased. The game sold 1 million copies, the vast majority on PlayStation consoles. Reaching 2 million players with the help of Game Pass isn't anything to celebrate. Not when that service has 25 million users. Oh, you dumb motherfucker. You stupid son of a bitch. First of all, I'm not sure if the game sold most of its copies on PlayStation. I really don't feel like checking. I don't, I don't think it's important because it really fucking isn't. Also, what's this? Oh, people who don't buy the game aren't loyal to the game. Who gives a fuck about being loyal to a fucking product, man? What am I, a goddamn soulless fanboy? But how is reaching 2 million players not something to celebrate? Like, 2 million players for most games is quite a lot of people, right? And the only reason, according to you, why it's not something to celebrate is because it's on a service with 25 million users. Okay, but like, by, by your own admission, right, you say that the game sold 1 million copies and then reached 2 million through Game Pass, which means that 1 million out of those 25 million people downloaded the game. That's a fuck ton of people, my guy. Oh, but a, a lot more people have the service, yeah, and 200 million people have Netflix. What, you think every single movie on Netflix has been watched by at least 100 million people? Fuck no. Are you retarded? So this tweet makes sure to thank Xbox and PC Game Pass users who rented your game but not PlayStation users who make up the majority of the sales of for your game. Noted, I won't be buying your next game. Oh no, this random fucking Sony Pony Twitter user won't be buying your next game, guys. 
shut down the entire company. Oh no. Nobody, nobody fucking cares. I'd play the fucking SEO abridged clip again. Fuck it, I'll play it, I'll play it again. No language on earth has a word for how little I care. A quantum supercomputer calculating for a thousand years could not even approach the number of fucks I do not give. And yeah, of course they would thank the Xbox and PC Game Pass users because those are the users that got the game to 2 million. Players mean nothing. Players don't stay forever. Players move on. Not all players don't invest into the game. This is nothing more than bought and paid for Microsoft PR and company which shills for Microsoft forever loses credibility and any future sales from me. There is so much to fucking unpack here. Uh, first of all, nobody gives a shit that you random Twitter user aren't gonna buy their game anymore. Like honestly, I don't understand why they keep writing this like what you like do you really think that companies are going to care that random people on twitter aren't going to buy their game anymore you know what personally actually personally if someone told me some random dude on twitter told me that they weren't gonna buy my video game anymore i'd be fucking devastated bro i'd be as devastated as the odd world devs are after they put their game on playstation plus Second of all, not all players don't invest into the game, which means that every single player does in fact invest into the game. If not all players don't invest, then all players must invest. Also, how the fuck do you invest into the game? Does that mean that not all players buy or pay for the game? Yeah, that's true, but you know, Scarlet Nexus or the developers, you know, Bandai Namco, they get paid for putting their game on Game Pass. That's kind of how subscription services like that work. Now we're gonna move on to probably the most retarded thing he said, and that's that players don't matter. What do you- what the fuck do you mean players don't matter? Of course players matter, like that's like say- It's like saying that if- uh, it's, it's so retarded I can't even think up with a fucking comparison. It's- it's like saying that like viewers don't matter when it comes to movies. Or like it doesn't matter if nobody fucking eats at a restaurant. Like it-, it what the fuck do you mean? Of course players matter, the reason games are created so that people will buy and play them. Are, are you fucking retarded? Uh, he literally says, oh the players don't matter because players move on and they don't play the game forever. Yeah, that, that goes for every single game ever made. Good job. Like, what the fuck does that mean? I think he's like trying to say that not all gamers, you know, of not all players buy the game and spend money on it. Yeah, that's true, but... You know, like I said already, the developers still get a lot out of putting their game on Game Pass. They get paid money and they get more exposure. You know, again, they're introducing their game to an audience that probably would have never played their game otherwise. Anyway, guys, with that fucking retarded bullshit out of the way, this is the end of the video. Please, if you like this video, like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.